We welcome you back here to the Huntington Center. 7-0 South Carolina downs Toledo uh, here in this game. Matt Melzack, Scott Pollock joins me here in the booth. And uh, obviously, uh, Scott, well done, by the way. It's a tough, tough thing what you had to do there a little bit ago to, to go talk to a coach who is clearly disappointed and very upset with his team, and, and it showed in his answers. Well, I think, but you, you certainly saw, I mean, the, uh, the, the the class and the, you know, certainly the investment Nick has uh, uh, in, in in what he does, and it's, it's a very hard thing to do. Nobody uh, nobody wants to be on that end of it. Uh, you know, we didn't get a chance to really talk. Nick's been on the other end of this as well, and uh, he's, he's going to be on the end of this uh, uh, score a lot more often than he's going to be on, on this side of it. But tonight it is difficult, but I think what you saw is it, is is it just the reality, the sheer emotion? This is this is what it is. Disappointing, disappointing as players, but but certainly, like it's now what to do to make sure this doesn't happen again. And I think that's clearly uh, what's in Nick's mind right now. What needs to be done is, uh, you know, send a message and let's let's uh, move forward to Friday night. Yeah. Well, that's the next task for the Toledo Walleyes Friday night and a return date with the South Carolina team. You know. We'll be certainly ready once again on Friday. Let's look back to this game here, Scott, and our Huntington Bank highlights of the game. And, uh, you know, this quick goal, too. Uh, Chernichen gets this. And that really, after Toledo had such a great start to the game. Yeah, and I, I, I can't, you know, we can't discredit that enough. I mean, Toledo started, the first shift and a half was really good. And unfortunately, it was a Chernichen goal that really got Toledo off and running. And that was at four minutes stretch that Nick talked about, but there were some highlights in the first. Toledo did get to the net. They, they forced Jokaitis into a lot of good saves, which he, which he made. Now they were trying to take that into the second period, but unfortunately it's the, the quick goal turned any momentum that Toledo had right back in uh, uh, South Carolina's favor. They controlled most of the second period. After that point, Toledo was trying to get themselves back in it. There was just a lot of uh, uh, Jakaitis as well, but then late in the period with any thoughts of a comeback in mind, we saw the, the play of the game, obviously that uh, that rebound goal there from Simpson came in the third, and it just really all kept going in, in uh, Stingray's favor in that third period. Yeah, and every time a game starts to go that way, it just seems like no matter what you try to do, right, as a player, you just can't get control of the puck. It bounces off your stick. Just so many things, close plays like that. Just so many things that could have went a different way for Toledo just doesn't in right. a game like this. And it, exactly, man. I think the other thing to keep in mind, and oftentimes as a, as a home team, you're looking at it always one way, what Toledo did. Let's keep in mind there's two teams on the ice tonight. And on the other side, I suppose it was a pretty good hockey team in South Carolina. And when there was a mistake, when it was a breakdown, and even some of those bounces always were landing up on some pretty good sticks, some pretty good skilled players, and they made no mistake. And that's what really led to uh, the lopsided score. 